so the soil here is really bad. So I'm trying a limited amount of grow bags this year. And uh, so far they're working out pretty well. I'm out here on my pool deck. And uh, this is, uh, oh God, what was this one? Uh, it was a German queen <laughs> tomato plant. And it's got a couple flowers coming on, I think. Um, they might have gotten pollinated today. There they are down there. They're coming in. Those are big slicers, I think. Got it at uh, Home Depot on sale. So, I don't know. Those are some seeds um, I started. Actually, the... The mint I got from the organic guy down the street and some of the other things are peppers and a couple of tomatoes and some zinnias, um, actually. But I just threw in those little cups to start as seeds. And they're just sitting out here. Uh, they were on the back porch and I just brought them out. Um, this one's a yellow pear tomato. This guy's going nuts. He's got lots of blooms and tomatoes on them already and he's growing like crazy since I got them. Um, here's some of my basils. I love basil. Oh my god, there's not a basil I don't love. They all smell really good. Um, that's my lemon one I got for free from the organic guy. That's a purple basil that's turning green and I don't know why. That's just sweet basil. That one. That was Thai basil. Thai basil smells amazing. If you've never had Thai basil and smelled it, you really need to get some. And then uh, these guys, I just threw them in here. I don't know <laughs> how they're going to do. They're uh, big leaf basils, and um, I've got them all in there right now. I'll probably cut back a couple of them. Uh, but I started them in the little seedlings. They're also Baker Creek seeds, but they're going. This is, I had um, all my little plants in here starting out this year. It was a stacker thing and it just, it wasn't working out. Not enough space. Uh, the water doesn't go down. It was just a cheapie from Walmart, so I'm not worried about it. But um, my rosemary, I'm going to go ahead and leave in there. I cut my dill back. I don't know if it comes back. We'll do something with it. If it doesn't, I'm not worried about it. But um, my rosemary's got a little powdery mildew, so I'm going to need to get something for that. I'm come on down the way here. This this area um, out here, like where the peppers are, starts getting shade at around 3.30, 4 o'clock, and then down there a little, little bit earlier. Um, and I've got those guys down the other end get a little baked if they're further up here and the, the peppers like a little afternoon shade too so that's why they're spread out and this is a lunchbox pepper um, lunchbox I think they'll be red when they grow out they're awful cute and then this is the one everybody's been saying oh no Jen that's gonna be a, a like a green pepper from the store, it's gonna turn um, orange and then and then red. And uh, guys, no, it's it's really not. It's a red pepper. And this particular cultivar, um, let's see if we can get the the red bell. This particular cultivar, I believe, goes purple and then red. But um, it'll be fun to see what happens anyway. And down here, these are some dragon tongue beans. These are, I'm calling them my magic beans. Oh my god, I uh, got these seeds from Baker Creek also. Um, the, I started these guys the same time I started all the other little seedlings up at the front of the yard. So, yeah. Now we know why they wrote Jack and the Beanstalk. Um, <laughs> the beans come up quick. And this... This is my amazing cucumber plant, which um, I, I bought this one at, at Walmart as well. I didn't start this one from seed. And I really didn't think this through 
because I, I put the little stakes up and I thought, okay, the little stakes will do okay for a little bit um, to hold up the cucumber plant. And they did for a day. And uh, <laughs> after that day, I had to go get the tomato cage and put that in. And so we're doing okay on the tomato cage, but I, I don't know what we're going to do. He's in that bag, and he's going to get tall. I, I, he needs something bigger to climb on, and I have no idea how I'm going to handle that yet. But we'll go. We'll go from there. We'll figure that out. And then this is my um, lemon thyme. Yeah, lemon thyme. I got him at... Walmart, or not Walmart, Home Depot. All the vegetable plants I buy, I usually get at Home Depot. Maybe Lowe's, but our Lowe's doesn't take very good care of their plants. But he um, doesn't really like the direct, direct sunlight so much either. So there we go. But I um, that's just a little bit I'm doing right now. Um, it's not very much. These guys are getting a whole lot of attention. I've, I've got a little something coming in on on these guys. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. A little bug chewing on the leaf a little bit. Down here you can see little things. So I don't know exactly what it is. I think those little black dots might have something to do with it. But um, I'm going to get some neem oil or something. Uh, yeah, maybe we leaf mine or some kind. I'm getting on my, on my uh, cucumber plant, too. No, go away. Plant eating bugs. Okay, but anyway, that's, um, that's what we're doing right now. Um, I've got some plans for this area of the yard in the future. I just... Uh, the soil here is so bad, and we've got that nasty nematode that, um, uh, nematodes, if you guys don't know what they are, they're, they're roundworms in the soil, and the, some of them are beneficial, some of them are not. The one we have down here around Pensacola is not. It gets into the roots of the tomato plants, and it sort of knocks the system down, and then they go, they like catch everything else. I get blight and everything just just overnight. And last year it was so bad. It was so disappointing. You walk out one day and they looked a little sad and droopy and think, oh, a little extra water or whatever. And then the day after that they're just demolished with terrible looking. I mean, it, was, it was so fast. But um, I think I'm going to do some raised bed type stuff over in this area. I don't quite know yet. I I, I, I love our backyard. Um, it's huge. It's huge. Um, so I've got lots of area. I've got lots of, you know, I've got shaded area. I've got places to get sunshine all day. I've got um, just lots of different stuff I could do. Oh, don't poop. Um, so I want to come out and do some more of that. And here's our, remember that little uh, palm tree we tried? Yeah, he's not doing so well. We got one little green branch left on him. I think I'm going to come out and cut everything but that one green branch. But um, I told Scotty, I was like, ah, he's dead. Let's pull him out and move him. We can't get him out. Gonna have to dig him out if he wants out, and I need to get back here and get some of these weeds out. And my elephant ears have gone absolutely insane. And I mean, these guys, except for snakes here, these guys are they're not little, they are not little, they are big leaves. They're they're big old elephant ears. There's a couple that, you know, the bugs get on them. They... I do nothing back here, really. We came back and um, trimmed out uh, some of the stuff that was back here. Here's some more of these little guys. I just love elephant ears. They're really, 
And these are all volunteers. Everybody volunteered. <laughs> well, we came back and trimmed out some stuff. There was uh, quite a few. Uh, it was just uh, completely grown over back in this corner. Not that it doesn't look completely grown over now. Um, but it, it, it was way worse. We came back and cut out a whole bunch of stuff. And I we chopped this tree branch down. This was, I think, in December. That tree branch right there. And you can see where he chopped him down to. And I said, yeah, I'll come back and get that stick later, you know. We decided to grow back, so... I'm like, all right. Mm -hmm. That determined to be here. And some more big yellow fan ears there. I'm going along. Um, I think I'm going to be cleaning this out. We've just been keeping... Uh, that's extra fence wood. It was here when we bought the house. And... Um, most of those... I think they called them penny wars. And we got them, and there was a bunch. There was a whole bunch going through here, and and everybody was like, "Oh, get rid of them! You have to get all this weed killer and all that." And I've come back here now, and they're I mold them. They're little. Well, to the left, are real little. Don't care. It's not really grass, grass back here. Um, and this, I think this used to be a dog run. I wouldn't put my dogs, I wouldn't drive to my dogs, but, uh, makes for a nice little storage thing. I got some firewood and stuff in there, and, um, I want to get in and clean that out to some old bricks, but I'm afraid of snakes. <laughs> and, yeah, there could be a snake in there. I'm not I'm afraid of snakes. I'm afraid of the kind of snakes we can have in Florida. They don't rattle. Um, so they don't give you much warning. Uh, copperheads and stuff like that. And I, uh, I don't want them. But anyway, that's the yard. I was just going to show you the garden, but I figured I'd walk you on around. And if anybody wants to come down and uh, spend a few days... We got this fence over here on this side, and we found out that um, I actually own five more feet on the other side of the fence. So, the neighbors are like, we don't want to take care of it, it gets overgrown, we don't want it, it's your land, take it, so we got to move this fence over. So, anybody wants to come down for a little vacation and help move a fence um let me know I will uh we got a spare room and um won't let you swim in the pool real nice out here I got a lounge chair too we can bring out sit on the grass and hang out look at my garden I think all the snakes are back there, so don't have to worry about them. Oh, we spray for mosquitoes every month, too, so uh, should, be, should be good. Anyway, that's my gardening attempts for 2019. I'm hoping to add a little bit more to it, but uh, probably not until we um, get into the cooler months at the end of the summer. I'll start going some cool, cool weather things. Anyway, next time. Ciao.